facial retinal recognition. So you can go ahead and identify what driver's in there. And it's going to go ahead and greet him with a nice, warm, welcome message. 네, 현대모비스 엠비전 S고요. 지금 한 명이 탑승해서 얼굴을 인식한 다음에 여기에 yeah, 맞는 것을 보여주고 있습니다. Cars are no longer just going to be a means of transportation. They're going to be connected to everything. Not just your mobile devices like you have out now. They're going to be connected to smart home appliances, even other vehicles on the road. And you'll be able to share that information instantaneously, seamlessly. So my job today is to give you a little idea of what that's going to look like. So first and foremost, as Eric made his way into the car, just like you guys all have a cell phone, you have a smartphone, and Eric has one in his pocket as well. When he made his way into the vehicle, the Envision has started syncing its contacts, its destinations, and it started syncing its calendar. So it's actually popped up an alert there on the screen. If you can't read it, I'm gonna read it for you. It says that Eric had a meal at the terrace. It looks like Eric, he already skipped it. He denied his meal at the terrace because, are you just not hungry in there, Eric? Not hungry at all. He's on a diet. So now it's moving on to the next suggestion. It's already asking him, he's got the yeah, top music awards. So the top music awards right here in Vegas, over to MGM Grand. Eric, you gonna go? Oh, yes, he's on his way to the MGM Grand, so here we go. So, this is where the fun part happens. He selected yes, the car is going to signify with blue lighting. It's in autonomous driving mode. He is on his way, as you can see, to the MGM's Great Bar Marina. A couple things are going to happen. Because the uh, the pop music boards are fun, there's lights, there's music, there's celebrities, the M Vision S is going to go ahead and change the lighting on the inside of the car to, to reflect the mood of the destination. So, because the pop music boards are fun, got some fun lighting. For those of you on this side, you can see on that communication panel right there, these lights are set to mimic like the lights you see at an award show. Eric has chosen to communicate with you guys if he's hitting somewhere fun. Also, for those of you on that side, you get to see the music that's starting to come from the car. The Envision has automatically selected a song that also reflects the mood of the destination. So just put on some pop music. Looks like Eric might have get some dance moves in there. Dance moves? No, he said no, he doesn't want to dance. I'm gonna put him on the spot anyways. Can we get a little one? A little shimmy? There we go. Now, for those of you over here that can see the GUI, that's a graphic user interface, the giant screen on the inside, it's gonna go ahead and pull up the route map. Now it's gonna start scanning the traffic. It's even gonna start scanning and looking for parking spaces at or near the MGM Grand. What's further, if you guys can see on the inside of there, there's a 3D rendering of the MGM Grand. The part that's highlighted there is actually where the pop music boards are taking place. So when Eric gets the MGM Grand, he knows exactly where to go. But we're going to take it a step further. It's actually looked at his phone, scanned and found his tickets, and pulled his tickets up on the screen so he knows when he gets to the MGM Grand exactly where he's sitting. Now, while he's on his way to the MGM Grand, I'm going to tell you a little bit about e corner technology. If you don't know about it, so you can do things like that. When it's on autonomous mode as well, safety features pop up. The M Vision S utilizes camera sensors, utilizes radar, utilizes LiDAR. It is interesting to see the surroundings, whether that be pedestrians, other vehicles, but also it's going to use that to communicate with other vehicles on the road. Uh, Eric, how about we do this? I know you're showing off the space there because autonomous driving means much more than just taking your hands off the wheel. You can do whatever you want. Listen to me. Watch Netflix. You can read a book, but like Eric was doing, you can do some fitness. So Eric, are you going to sweat? Are you okay? He's just chilling. He's having the time to sweat. How about this? Let's, cha let's change the music. So I want to show you now the D-Touch technology. That's the hands-free technology used to control the graphic user interface. We're going to change the music here, and I'm going to let you show on whatever you want, dealer's choice. Oh, the trendy light category. All right, this is a new one. Let's see what we have up here. A little Don Cheadle. Okay, excellent choice. How about this, Eric? Can you go ahead and turn the volume up on the music? As you can see, completely hands-free, all <coughs> up in autonomous mode, the lighting's still blue to signify autonomous mode, it's completely hands-free. By the way, the sound that you're hearing, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at Krell, providing this amazing auditory experience. For more information on Krell, we have the Krell Sound Lounge right in there. Now, a notification just popped up on the graphic user interface inside of the Envision S. It says, <coughs> if we keep going with the speed, we want to change the drive mode. 
So the car is recognized if we stay on autonomous driving. Eric's going to be late to the pop music boards. Ask him if he wants to change the drive. Well, Eric, it's up to you, man. You want to be on time? Do it yourself. All right, so he's going to go ahead and change the car into manual mode. This is my favorite thing about the end of the test. I want you to notice what happened. Watch the lighting. See it switched to yellow? That's to signify to everyone on the outside that the car is now in manual driving mode. In the future, there's some people are going to prefer autonomous driving. They want the freedom. And some people are going to prefer manual driving, like Eric. Watch what happens first. You notice the driver's seat slid out. Second, the cockpit is raising up to the desired level of the driver. And third, you watch the steering controls. They slide out right in front of him, essentially creating a cockpit for Eric. So now you can enjoy the pure joy of driving the Ambition S. Now, with that retinal facial recognition I mentioned earlier, he's glancing left and right, simply just using his eyes to glance left and right, and that pulls up the side of the mirror information. Also on the graphic user interface, it's going to reduce the amount of information so he can focus on what he needs to do, and that's driving. So now we've arrived at the MGM. We've shown you autonomous driving. We've shown you the outside of the car. We've shown you the inside of the car. We just showed you manual driving. Last but not least, I want to show you parking. But in order to do that, I don't need Eric because it's autonomous. We're going to do it right. So Eric, you're done, but before you go, I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, you're heading to the pop music boards. You just drove there by yourself. Where are you taking the pop music boards? I saw you had two tickets. I'm meeting my mom. He's meeting his mom. There we go. What a good man. Uh, is there any other like, celebrities you're looking to see here? Uh, he's Swizzle. Taylor Swift. Fingers crossed. Guys, can you give it up for Eric? Big up there. My assistant. They did a great job. And here's one of the best parts about this vehicle. Eric's been driving the MGM brand this entire time. Now he's pulled up to the very front. The Ambition has essentially turned itself into its very own valet service. He pulled up to the front, he got out. For those of you on that side, if you look at the side of the car, it's going to communicate to you with the blue lighting and the communication panel that is parking itself. So everyone in the parking lot will be aware this car is in autonomous mode and it's finding its own parking space. As soon as it arrived, it started skating through all the parking spaces, making its way through the parking lot on its own, finding its desired parking space, parking, locking the doors, and because it has wireless charging, when you get back, you're actually going to be alerted right here on the communication line, <laughs> on the communication panel, the exact level of the charger. Pretty remarkable stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our presentation on the Envision S. Again, my name is Danny Boyd, but here's the deal. We don't want you to have to leave if you don't want to. We want you to experience some of this technology for yourself. So right over here, we've got the Future Mobility DIY station. My friend Lilia is over there. If you have any questions about that, you can experience some of that technology. As well as over here, we've got my friend Michael here. You can check out some of the fuel cell technology. We are going to open up the platform if you'd like to get a closer look on the inside of the Envision S. We won't be able to go inside, but we do invite you to come up and take some pictures. For those of you that are going to be standing here, I want you to notice in a minute, using the radar and the LIDAR, the Envision S is actually going to detect you. We'll start showing some of you guys on the screen up there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks for spending part of your day here with us at Hyundai Mobis at CES.